So this just dropped. Okay guys, so we have finally gotten a trailer to one of the latest video game to movie adaptations, Uncharted. Now as you guys know, I am a massive fan of the Uncharted franchise, and have even played through the four mainline titles for the channel. Rumors about an Uncharted movie actually started all the way back in 2008, when David O. Russell was originally in line to direct, and Marky Mark Wahlberg himself would star as the eponymous Nathan Drake. The film would see multiple different directors and screenwriters pass through over the years, with such notable directors being Sean Levy, Neil Berger, Dan Trachtenberg, and Travis Knight all initially signing on before they would eventually leave due to either scheduling conflicts or creative differences with Sony Pictures. It was around the time when Trachtenberg and Knight were on the project that it did start getting some traction thanks to the casting of Spider-Man actor Tom Holland being brought on as Nathan Drake and eventually the casting of Mark Wahlberg as Sully. While both Dan Trachtenberg and Travis Knight would leave the project, a final director was finally chosen with the hiring of Ruben Fleischer, the director of Zombieland 1 and 2, and Venom. They initially kicked off principal photography during 2020, but due to the COVID-19 pandemic, they had to delay it a decent amount. But now, after multiple delays and pushback release dates, we finally got our first look and first trailer of this new adaptation. And it looks... Meh? Let's actually get into the trailer and break it down. The trailer starts off with some pretty familiar imagery. Nathan, played by Tom Holland, searching a tomb of some kind alongside Chloe Fraser, played this time by actress Sophia Ali. Nathan, even though he is about a few years younger than we would see him in the first game, appears to be wearing his outfit from the fourth game, actually. Next, it seems that Nathan is uncovering some sort of treasure map. As we then transition to New York, as we see Nathan as a bartender. And from how the trailer is cut, it makes it seem like this scene right here is the very first time that both Nathan Drake and Victor Sullivan have met each other. As the trailer goes on, we get a mention from Sully being familiar with Nathan's brother, Sam, who we would first see in Uncharted 4, A Thief's End, and then reappear in Uncharted, The Lost Legacy. I think you're here because you're your brother. Well, you know my brother, Sam. From there, we're also greeted with a lot more familiar imagery from the games, what appears to be a pair of pirate ships reminiscent from Uncharted 4, of course some exotic locations, though it wouldn't really be a globetrotting adventure without exotic locations. And after a few small action beats, we then get the reveal of the film's villain, played by Antonio Banderas. You are a collector. Well, I dabble. I don't dabble. My family has been looking for this fortune for a very long time. Now the one thing I will praise the movie on immediately, it's the casting for the most part. While I am still very skeptical as to how Mark Wahlberg will do as Victor Sullivan, I am really liking the rest of the lineup. Holland has a ton of charisma and can definitely bring a lot of the same charm that Nathan has in the game. And of course, you can never really go wrong when casting Antonio Banderas. The guy is just an absolutely fantastic actor and I can't wait to see what he does here. From there, we get another great amount of shots showing off how the action is going to look for the film, which, from what I hear, Tom Holland was actually able to do a large majority of his own stunts for Uncharted, implementing even some of the parkour elements that we usually see from the games. After then, we are probably given the most recognizable image taken straight out of one of the games, specifically from Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception, with the cargo plane action sequence. Nathan hanging on for dear life as a line of cargo is attached to the back of a freaking plane. After we're then shown the title card, we do get a legitimately funny moment that feels straight out of something that would happen in the games. Oh my god! I shouldn't have come out to play with a big boy's wing because you're about to get a proper Scottish welcome. What? Okay, honestly, that line is perfect. Finally, we get our requisite catchphrase from Nathan. Oh crap! <laughs> And we get our reveal of the release date, which will be February 18th, 2022. So that was the trailer. Okay, so there's a lot to unpack here. I will say for the most part, it doesn't look bad. 
It just feels like a lot of stuff we have seen before with the franchise, as well as with most action-adventure films. Though if we are only going by the trailer, this movie does seem to be taking place in a separate continuity from the games, choosing to do its own story while also paying tribute to the series throughout. It does feel weird, especially because when the movie was first put into development with Holland in the lead, it was originally rumored to be in continuity with the games. Specifically, it would take place in between the beginning of Uncharted Drake's Fortune and the flashback scene of the Panamanian Jail from Uncharted 4. But as we see, the filmmakers must have decided along the way to make it a whole new story for the movie, so as to act as sort of a semi-origin story for Nathan Drake overall for general audiences. I don't necessarily have a problem with them doing this, but as a fan of the Uncharted series, it does kind of miff me that they aren't, you know, fully being in continuity with the games. As a filmmaker, however, I can kind of understand where they're going here. Overall, I will say the trailer does look pretty decent. The action scenes look like they're well shot. I like how the trailer starts with the chimes of Nathan's theme. It's actually pretty cool. The casting, for the most part, looks pretty good. And there are some pretty fun moments throughout. Gotta say, a lot better than I thought it would have been. So that was my breakdown of the Uncharted trailer. What did you guys think of it? Uh, do you like this whole new setup of doing, you know, sort of these trailer breakdowns? Uh, let me know down in the comments, and I'll see you all in the next one.